Hello and welcome back to the weekly vlog. I'm starting the week all dressed up actually. Um, we're about to go out for lunch. I think it's just going to be Hannah, Mum and I because I need to go to town to get money out from my bank because I I have this really weird bank account where I basically need to to actually visit the bank to get the money out because the account is so old. My mum made it when I was a baby and I just use it as like my savings account to try and stop me spending money but it's a bit annoying when I have to go there. So we're going to do that and then we're going to go for some lunch and then I've got to film a misguided haul later. I don't know if you can see all the stuff on my bed for the video so I've got to do that. So I thought might as well do my makeup now so that I'm just like ready to do it later. Um, but yeah, it's very exciting that we're actually like full steam ahead with the flat stuff now like i'm literally getting the money out for it i think i might also because obviously my bank is annoying i might try and move it to like a different kind of account because i don't i, I don't know i just feel like it's probably going to be a bit of a struggle when i'm in london and i have to come back home to this bank to do stuff so you know what this is irrelevant i don't know what i'm talking to you about this you're not my accountant it's literally not that it's not your problem it's my problem that i need to sort out so yeah, anyway, I thought I'd let you know what I'm wearing. So I've got this little cami from ASOS. This cardigan, I think, is Princess Polly. But there is a really similar one, I think, oh, was it on Monkey? It was on Monkey or And Other Stories. It was one of those two brands, I can't quite remember. I think I linked it on, like, my main channel, like a similar one. Um, so, yeah, that is today. I don't know how exciting this week is going to be. Mm, you know what? I don't think it's going to be too bad. No, I don't think, I'll get my hair done tomorrow, now. that is exciting, that is honestly, the vlog should just be about that, because honestly, the amount of times I've moaned about these dark roots, like, they don't look that dark right now because I washed it this morning, but honestly, like, you know, two days after I've washed my hair, and when my hair's starting to get a bit greasy, like, I am a full-on brunette from the underneath, but anyway, I will see you guys at the restaurant probably it's a really cute one in town it's like a little italian restaurant oh i'm so excited i don't know whether to get like a little risotto a pasta a pizza oh, so many choices just out for lunch with my girly got our food look at this risotto does that not just look so dreamy the mum's got a chicken pasta which also looks amazing thank you. Parmesan. oh thank you sorry <laughs> that's perfect thank you yeah youtube yeah <laughs> back home now and we've had three massive parcels show up these are for the flat well they weren't originally for the flat they were originally just for my room but i thought i'm gonna put them in the flat because i must have like pre-manifested it when i ordered this stuff so this is from benuta i have a feeling it's two rugs a poof bay poof like seat thing um some cushion covers I think that might be it, but yeah, I will do a little time lapse of me opening them and I'll show you because this is so exciting. It is a little bit later now. It's actually quite a bit later. What is the time? Oh, quarter past nine. Quarter past... I always do this. It's not quarter past nine. It's quarter past seven. That's not going to focus, is it? Does anyone else do this? I feel like we've spoken about this before, but I just read the time wrong. I need to have... I need to change it from this, like... 24 hour clock to just a normal clock because my brain clearly my my brain numbers just do, they don't go they don't they don't mix um so what i will do because i realized i didn't properly show you a close-up of all the products that arrived today but i thought i would just wait until i do a apartment tour or you know the moving in vlogs and stuff because then you'll know everything that's going in it and i feel like there's no fun in that um I also, I didn't get around to filming my misguided video because, oh my god, there was the biggest thunderstorm. I feel like another one's brewing and the house just went pitch black. It was so bad. Called my editor and I was like, I don't think I can film in this. <laughs> Showed him around. He was like, no, that's not going to work. So tomorrow will be the day, but tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. So I'm like, that is going to be a great day for filming because my hair's actually going to look really good. So I'm happy about that. Um... Gosh, what else? Oh, I'm about to um, eat a little, a little moons. These, I feel like, have really lost their popularity. Like, they literally had hype for about a month, maybe two months, and now I don't see anyone posting about them. But 
my mum adds them to every single Ocado order. We have got about five packets of Little Moons now. So if you still yet to try them, then I would get on Ocado because they literally have everything. So I'm just letting it cool down. I still really enjoy them. Like, they actually are really nice to eat. And I love how squishy they are. Like, it's getting a bit squishy at the bottom. It's very satisfying. Although, what I have noticed is obviously where they're being mass produced, the coating on them isn't as thick. Like, it's just quite a thin layer. So... Yeah, that's changed. I feel like this lighting is really weird. It's because it's so dark. But yeah, I think I'm going to have a bath now. So I'll probably end the vlog for now. Tomorrow is obviously a really exciting day. Hair. Um, what else am I doing? Oh, I need to go to the bank. Because I couldn't go to the bank today because my bank was closed. Did I tell you that? I think I did tell you that. I can't remember. But oh, I need to change banks seriously. Because what kind of bank is open for four hours? Four hours? What is the point? What is the point? It's just ridiculous. So I'm going to have to go early tomorrow and do that. But it's fine. Anyway, I literally think I already spoke about this. But my brain is just frazzled. Who is this blonde bitch? Oh, it's me. Oh my god, guys. I am obsessed. I'm currently at Ollie's. I'm at Oliver Cunningham Pittsfield. If you guys do want to get your hair done by him, you should. Um, but honestly, let me just show you the weather. So... Fresh hair, fresh, fresh hair, and this is the weather that I've got to deal with when I leave the salon. Can you see that? I'll go on hail. But then look at the sky. Can someone explain this to me? Because I'm not understanding, honey. Hannah's just getting her hair done over there. I hope you can hear me with my mask on. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting for Hannah, waiting for the rain to stop. I'm hoping it will, because that blue sky does look promising, but who knows? But oh my god, I'm obsessed. Let me show you this way around. It's been a long time since I've had a full head of highlights, so, you know, this just deserves its moment. Oh my god. So I would show you what it looks like with the mask off. Like, I'm actually obsessed. And then Hannah's had hers done as well. Even though Hannah's dyed her eyebrows ginger by accident. So. It's because it makes me fake tan. Oh my god, your curls already dropped out, Hannah. I just brushed them. Oh, I was like, what's happened? Um, but yeah, I'm literally obsessed. We're going to go get a McDonald's now because we're both starving. And then I need to film my misguided video. And I've got my life coaching today because I've pushed it a day forward. I normally have it on a Wednesday. So, busy old afternoon for hey, me. you normally have it on a Monday. What are you saying? No, I don't I normally have it on a Wednesday. My life coaching. Oh. Wednesday. I don't know what she's going on about. Look at me all glammed up now. Although I have to say, I did do my makeup literally about two hours ago. And I'm already going shiny, so... Oh well, anyway. That's why I did use a different powder today, so that's probably why. I've got my life coaching in seven minutes. But I thought I would pop on and show you the hair with the makeup done. I really hope you're not bored of me and my hair at this point. Because that is all today has been. But... I'm just so happy with it. I can't lie to you guys. Like, I really... Oh, I am so happy. I will leave Ollie's links down below. So, if you guys do want to book in with him. I think he is... He's booked and busy, honey. Is that what it's called? Book, booked and... Busy and... I don't know what, it, what the saying is. But I think he's got space, like, from July onwards. If you guys are based, like, in the Sussex area. Or if you want to tra travel, I feel like it's worth it. But yeah, I've got my life coaching. I feel, you know what? I came off last week's life coaching with such a high um, and it really helped. Like I genuinely felt this high for like the rest of the week. So that's what I'm kind of hoping for today because obviously it's Tuesday. So it's still like early-ish in the week. So hopefully, you know, it will be a good session. I'll let you know how it goes. I think this is going to be more of like an open discussion. So there's not going to be as much like teaching but I'm kind of excited for that because it will just be nice to just chit chat. I think she's kind of going to delve into like a few little like past things to kind of work out how my brain works at the moment. So yeah, um, and then what do I need to do after that? Oh, I need to do the misguided thumbnail pictures just in like my sister's mirror. I'm hoping that the rain is going to stop. It's literally just been pissing it down all day, but it's bright. Like, I think you guys can see like it's kind of bright whereas yesterday it was so dark like I couldn't even film so yeah I am gonna get myself a glass of water because always when I speak on these calls like I'm obviously speaking for quite a long time and um, just like having a chit chat and talking about things so I'm gonna have a water and then I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later I think the sun is trying to come through oh, I hope it does I really do okay catch you guys in a moment thought I would show you tonight's dinner cooked by mum. It's another little HelloFresh number. What is it? Oh, it's this one. So it is 
satay style minced beef and noodles. Where did you get Mexican oh, from? Mum said it was Mexican noodles. I was like, dish, hmm, it's a bit of a weird one, but yeah. Sounds really good and it smells amazing. We are enjoying HelloFresh. It is good. Sometimes they forget the ingredients, can't lie, but hmm. yeah, other than that, it is good, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. What a lovely sunny day to start Wednesday's vlog. We are currently getting some Ponce Martinis up in Victoria because Hannah and I have got a little event this evening, which is going to be really cute. Cheers to the vlog. Cheers. Cheers to the vlog. Love that. I haven't tried mine yet, so I'm kind of concerned it's that we're going to walk up to the event. It's, it's really soft. I've not had much to eat today. Um, but we're going for a little afternoon tea. I'll turn the camera around because it's not on Hannah. So, yeah, we're going for a little afternoon tea, which I think will be really cute, but we're here a bit early just because of the way the trains work. And you're not even going to believe this. So when we walked out of Victoria Station, I was just doing my lipstick because I don't like to do my lipstick like when I'm wearing a mask on the train. I just like to do it afterwards. And I was in the middle of doing it and Hannah was like, Becca, Becca, I look up and there's like, um, what's his name? Spencer Matthews yeah. from Made in Chelsea. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I don't know what it is. We always seem to spot famous people. Like whenever I'm with Hannah, we always seem to see like, you know, just celebrities. And it's really Honestly, we, who did we see last time? Jack from Love Island. Jack, yeah, Jack Finch from Love Island. That was on a shoot day. I saw Connor Maynard the other day and I was looking at houses. Um, like looking at flats with Tommy, it's just crazy. But I'm gonna try this on camera just so we can actually see if it is that strong. That's oh. fine, Hannah. Maybe I've just had so I'm many porn star martinis in my life. Oh yeah. Do you guys put your shot in your porn star or do you drink it separately? Because I drink it separately, but Hannah puts it in and I find that really odd. I, sometimes I feel like it. I don't know, it depends how I'm feeling. I feel like it would have been quite sweet today, so I wanted it a bit more sour. Yeah, yeah, mm, nice. Celebrating. This is apparently how you open champagne. There oh my go. god, it's take that, that TikTok. Fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I literally could never. <laughs> Here she is, look at us in our afternoon tea. It's so bougie, I'm not used to this. But how cute is this little, um, I don't know what it's called, I can't remember. But um, <laughs> it looks lovely. It's got a little queen's head on it, which looks really nice. And then Hannah's there. And then we've also got live piano music going on over there, which is just lovely. It's a beautiful venue. So this is the Rubens Hotel. If you guys are looking for a nice afternoon tea that's, you know, somewhere a bit different. I feel like, you kind of have your standard places for afternoon tea in London, but this is like somewhere that, it's just different, and honestly guys, it's very luxurious. Like this feels very strange for me, because I literally was like at McDonald's yesterday. So, um, quite a contrast, but I'm here for it. So I thought I would show you our afternoon tea. How unreal for all these sweet treats. So, the lady who baked all of these is gonna be on the like professionals bake off. I think it starts next week, which is really exciting. Oh yeah, that should be done by then. Yeah, no, I, I think I can disclose it. Yeah, because this goes up on Sunday, so I think it's fine. Then we've got some scone scones. You guys can find it out in the comments. I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, and then some little sandwiches. Very nice. Guys, just take a moment <laughs> to guess how much this tea costs, because I don't think you're going to get it. It's £500 for this cup. So this is, um, I think this is gold tea and it's the most expensive cup of tea in the whole world and I feel a lot of pressure. <laughs> I'm very excited though. Okay, I think it's cooled down a little bit now. They've given us 9,000 pounds worth of tea, which is kind of blows my mind a little bit, but here we go. Oh, I have to say that it's very nice. It's very smooth. Um, hang on, I'm gonna do another sip. <laughs> Yeah, very smooth. Yeah. I don't, mm, 500 pounds, So we are now on the train back. I don't know how much I filmed, but it was just, it was so nice to have that little slice of normality back. Like going to an event. We had a really nice time, didn't we? Mm. Yeah, it was really lovely. And you know, there were some girls there that you know, I've not seen for like nearly two years and it's nice to just see a familiar face. So, yeah, I was really grateful for that, but yeah. Train home now, I'm gonna head to Ellie's later. You know, my friend that I'm her maid of honor for, so we're gonna do some bridal bits, bake some cookies, and um, yeah, I'll stop recording now because it's always really embarrassing doing it on the train.
going from afternoon tea to more sweet treats, Ellie and I have made some cookies. I feel like this is one of the things we do best. <laughs> this recipe, oh my god, I will try and link it, well, if I remember, I'll link it below, because it's like a copycat Millie's cookie. I'm like, would you look at that? <gasps> I am obsessed. Um, so I think we're just gonna, we're gonna eat these. We've had some dinner. I didn't really film much because I literally forgot that I was vlogging. And then we're gonna watch Love, Rosie, mm -hmm. which I don't think I've ever watched, but it's got Sam Claflin. And I was like, yes, sign me up. I'm gonna watch that. So I will probably, I might film when I'm home. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I might be like full up on cookies and literally just pass out. So who knows? Just quickly, I wanted to show you our desserts. We've got our cookies, got ice cream. The TV. You know what? Some people go to the pub, like Ellie's boyfriend, fiance. I keep I need to remember that. <laughs> and then we sit here and watch films and eat cookies and ice cream. And I personally think this is a better way to spend the evening. So, cheers. I really hope you guys aren't sick of my cats at this point, but I just got in from Ellie's. Hello, little one. Hi. Hello. So cute in their little beds. Oh. Dad's there. They're so cute, aren't you, Pop? Look at the way she's like lying down. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with you. Well, here's another day of me ending, <laughs> ending the day with my gorgeous little cats. Good night, babies. See you guys in the morning. We've got another London day, so. Oh, so I'll see you bright and early for that. Guys, we are in the flat. Mum and Dad are here for the first time. I won't show you too much because I'm going to do like a house tour, but sneak peek. Should I give you a sneak peek of the view? Oh, this is so exciting. Um, and last time we came here, it was like being painted, so it's nice to have it tidy. Like, this is so exciting. But yeah, I won't show you too much, but oh my god. So we're in the car park <laughs> under the buildings. Um, what, is our car there? Oh no. It's an absolutely huge car park. Like, if yeah, I found some of those way. girls that took those car park pictures, I would be winning right now, because it's really nice. Um, but we have no idea where we've put the car. <laughs> like, no idea. So, we'll find out. Um, no, you're right. We're in this, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, Love that. But yeah, it's really cool. The car park literally goes under all the buildings. Um, there are some unreal cars. Like we've got some bougie neighbors. Why are we walking so quick? Oh my God, we're power walking. God. Um, anyway, see you when we're back home. I've got some homeware bits to show you. We went to the white company, which was really exciting. Um, it just, it feels very real now that mum and dad have actually been in the place. Like, it's crazy. But yeah, literally under two weeks time. When this goes live, it will be a week. That's crazy. You liked it? Yeah, very much. Yeah, no, it's really, it's really nice. I'm really excited to live there. Um. So I am back home now, and I thought I'd show you all of the bits that I picked up because there's not enough for like its own homeware haul because honestly, the white company is so expensive. So I'll start off with this bag. We've got three huge bags oh my god they're so nice though this is genuinely the only time i'll probably do a white company haul um or at least for like the next few months because it is really expensive but i'll show you i'll show you these first so we picked up some tea towels in this really nice like it's kind of like a linen fabric and it's got little hearts in it and i thought that was really cute like it's always nice to have good quality tea towels and i feel like they last a while and then I picked up these coasters. I had my eye, to be fair, a lot of this stuff I had my eye on before. Um, so mum and dad kind of knew that I wanted some of this stuff. Um, so I picked up these rattan coasters, which I think are really cute. They kind of look like biscuits, um, which I don't know if that kind of makes me hate them a little bit, but no, I quite like them. I think they're sweet. They're just neutral, aren't they? And then I also picked up the matching placemats I just got two of these because these were like 18 pounds and that's really expensive and they're huge. So I just thought, you know, these will probably be good to just have on like the kitchen island thing. You guys, you might have seen it in the last clip, but I'll, I'll show you obviously when we do a proper video. Um, and then, oh, I'll show you these. So I've got some glasses. I'll show you these ones first. I actually think that the White Company glasses are, they're not massively expensive they're under 10 pound a glass 
I don't really know. I don't really know the price of things, to be honest. Um, hmm? I'm vlogging, by the way. Sorry about that. No one in my family knew I was filming, and Hannah was getting very excited about Mum's sunglasses. So these are the wine glasses. I'm just going to show you one because I don't want to get them all out. But I just really love these. They're so different. Like, it's a wine glass at the end of the day. And I, I'm not really much of a wine drinker. And I feel like these, they don't fully look like wine glasses. I think they're really cute. Hannah, what do you think? Because Hannah's over there. Do you like that? Yeah, they're different. They're cute, aren't they? Different good or just... Good. I, I think they're nice. Personally, I wouldn't, but that's how I'm a big wine drinker, so I like my wine glass. Yeah, so Hannah likes big wine glass. Like, I honestly will probably just use this as, like, my gin glass as everything, which is not great, but... It's quite glass pass. Yeah, it's fine, you know. It's fine. For people that don't drink wine, like Tommy and I, it's going to be perfect for us. So, along with the wine glasses, I also picked up just some standard... I think they're called high... They're called highball glasses? Yeah, the Milford Highball glasses. I'll link everything down below, by the way, so you can shop it. But I just, I love it. It's got a bit of like a ribbed texture. I just think they're stunning. And you can see like where it's handmade. You can kind of see where it's not like perfectly round. And I really like that. So I think these are gorgeous. You know, how much were these actually? Just trying to work out how much they are per glass. £30, so I don't know, I can't do maths very well, but you know, not not awful. So that is bag number one done. So we're moving on to bag number two, and this is the first item. So I believe this is the same range as the glasses I just showed you. How stunning is this jug? I am completely in love with it. You can put cocktails in it, you can put water in it. I just think it's beautiful like i honestly can't i saw it in the in the store and i was like oh my god i need you so very exciting this was 25 pounds which probably is quite a lot for a jug to be honest but it is stunning and hopefully you know i'll keep it you know in a decent condition and i'll have it for like years that's kind of my thought process i feel like the white company genuinely is really good quality so i kind of know that their stuff's gonna last like my mum's had stuff from them for ages oh next up is this gorgeous marble board so i think you can use this as a i think you can use it as a chopping board or i don't know just like to display stuff on i love it it's so heavy i honestly cannot begin to tell you how heavy this is but it is beautiful and it was 35 pounds so I don't know, I feel like £35 for this is not too bad because I, it is real marble, so it's pretty bougie. So this is a little glass dish, you know, like your basic glass dish that you cook things in. And then it comes with this beautiful wicker edge. So obviously you cook stuff in the glass, that like you don't put the wicker in the oven, obviously. But then you pop it on the wicker and you can serve it to people because it's not hot, which I think is amazing and it just looks so beautiful like i genuinely could see lydia millen serving food on this and you know she is kind of my inspiration in life especially when it comes to homeware so i just was like oh my god amazing and they do it in a bigger size as well but this is literally big enough for tommy and i like we genuinely i, I don't think we're gonna need much more like i doubt we'll be cooking for many people you never know i might turn into the hostess with most us but who knows and then I'll show you what mum picked up. So the white company, oh my God, you're there. That really freaked me out. My mum's, because I'm filming this in her dressing room and she's got this mirror up there and I just saw this person standing there. I thought you were a ghost, genuinely. Um, so mum got this diffuser. You've had your eye on this for a while, haven't you? Hmm? You've had this, oh, your yeah, eye on this for ages. 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 Am I right to open it? Do you mind? No. Okay. It's gorgeous. We saw it, um, cause we went to Harrods before and we saw it there. And it just looks really stunning. I want to open this and I don't want to break it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. There we go. So this is the diffuser. And then it's also got like this wooden kind of bit at the bottom. This is so gorgeous. And then you pop your little essential oils in there. So you went for three, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So she went for, I hope you guys don't mind this. I feel like we're going to have a few homework hauls coming up. You went for the Calm Fragrance Oil, Geranium Leaf and Peppermint and then spa. I think this is going in the kitchen, isn't it? Because 
our washing machine gets a bit smelly sometimes. Is that a washing machine or dishwasher? But yeah, I don't know. It's, a, it's probably something we need to get fixed. It's probably Hannah and I and the excessive amount of food we eat. Anyway, so that is that. And then the third bag is basically a duplicate marble tray and then the glass um, dish with the wicker because mum got one as well. So that is everything that we picked up from the white company today. As I said, I'll link everything down below because oh it's all so nice and they always have discounts as well so do keep an eye out because i think we got 15 percent off they always have things i'm sure they've got like student discounts so yeah i feel like we never really pay for the white company full price which is amazing but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm sure we'll do more i might do like dedicated ones on the main channel but i thought this was a cute one to get us started with the homeware oh i tell you what i am feeling so shattered like two days in London have absolutely wiped. They've just wiped me. Um, so I'm gonna probably say goodnight now. I need to wash my hair because I've not washed it since. I'm gonna have it done. It's only been two days, but I am filming tomorrow and I feel like I probably should wash it because I'm getting it. I'm getting it cut on Saturday, so I'm like I don't want to do it two days in a row. So I think yeah, I'm gonna wash it now put a nice like conditioning treatment in i just love the color it's always so sad when the toner kind of leaves because i'm really happy with it um but yeah i keep saying um i feel like when i'm really tired is when you notice that i say um a lot i do it in voice notes as well to my friends and they listen back and they're like god you ummed a lot in that and it's like because my brain is just it's turning off so i'll see you guys tomorrow friday and <laughs> I want to have a lion. I'll probably see you tomorrow afternoon, to be honest, because I literally just want to have a chilled one. Oh, anyway, it's fine. I've been very grateful for, you know, all the things that have happened this week. It's been a really lovely week, so I'm not moaning. I'm just not used to this, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is Friday today. Please ignore just the random lip liner on my lips. I was going to do my lipstick, but I realised I've got food in the oven. Uh, the time is, it's half three. See, I told you it was going to be a late one today. Because I've been out and about all morning and it's been so windy and rainy that I literally was like, I'm not even going to risk taking the vlog camera out because it's probably just going to get soaked through and break. But I did a big, big shop in H&M. Please ignore the rubbish over there. Um, but yeah, big shop in H&M. There's some really cute stuff. Should I show you? I'll show you a couple of the bits because i think that you're gonna really like them and i don't know if you guys watch the main channel like i don't really know what the ratios are but i'll show you this because this dress we were actually walking out the store after i bought everything else and then i saw this and i was like okay no i need to have this um is that the i think that's the front like do you see so it's kind of got this gap here and then it's also got like this gap at the back i just think it's absolutely beautiful they didn't have it in a size 8, so I picked it up in a 6, so hopefully that will be fine. Um, and then, what else did I pick up? Oh, I picked up some cute jeans. I picked up two pairs of cream jeans. So this is the first pair, which I don't know if these are the ones that I got before, and they fit really badly. Um, what else should I show you? Should I show you this? This is colourful. I don't know how I feel about this, but, you know, it's summery. It might look cute with, like, a little denim jacket. Um... Oh my god, I don't even know how it goes. Is it a whole snack? Yeah, so it goes like that. I don't know. I don't think orange is really my colour, but we will see. But obviously, if you guys want to watch the video, it will be live. It'll be live today. Like, the day that this goes live, it will be live later today. So I'm sure when you guys watch this, it will probably already be there. But yeah, so I've got quite a few things. I think I've got like 15, 16, 17 things. I don't even know. So yeah, I've got to do that. And then I'm heading to Tommy's later. It's very exciting. I can actually go in his house now, which is amazing. Um, so, and I'm glad for that because honestly, I did not want to sit in a car or go on a walk or, or honestly. So we're going to do that. I think we're going to get a little fish and chips with his family. Probably be one of, it probably will be one of the last times I go to Tommy's before we move into the flat. Probably will be the last time because we're going to go around like all the home shops just to like get a little bits and bobs that we need. I won't vlog it because I feel like that's kind of boring. Maybe I should. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do at this point. I don't know what to film. I don't know where my head's at. But I feel like my chicken's probably ready in the oven now. So I'm going to eat that. Film this video. Catch up with you guys a little bit later. And um, yeah, let's do it. 
I do not know how I bloody did it, but I filmed that video in just over an hour, which blows my mind. I'm so happy about it. The lights are so bright. I feel like I'm literally blending into the walls right now, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, cause I have a bit of time left before I need to leave Tommy's. I think I'm gonna move Hannah's mirror over here so that I can do the thumbnail pictures and just get them over and done with. But it was such a good haul, like you guys, I actually loved like pretty much everything. There was only one thing I was like, oh, um, oh no, there was two things actually, but they were still nice. I just don't think they were my style. So yeah, if you guys are not sick of my voice at this point, then please do go and watch that video because it is a really good one. I think there's some nice like summer pieces in there if you're after some bits to fill up your summer wardrobe. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my thumbnail pictures now, just get that over and done with, and then I'll head to Tommy's. I've been informed we're getting a fish and chips, which is very exciting. Um, obviously I don't eat fish, I'll probably just get like chicken nuggets and chips. Even though I literally, I had chicken goujons for lunch, that is a lot of chicken, but... Anyway, it's fine. It's fine! Right, let me do that, and then I will catch up with you guys when I'm in the car, probably on the way to Tommy's. I'm kind of scared about driving though, because like, it's really windy outside. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go the, like, the town way, because there's like the countryside way, which is quicker by maybe like 10 minutes, but I think maybe I'll just go through the town, even though it's rush hour, I just think it's gonna be a bit safer. Um, God, I hate this weather. I hate it, and I hate how far Tommy lives from me. It's so annoying. Honestly, this weather outside is an absolute joke. Like, it's so windy and so rainy. It, it's annoying me. We are in May, we are towards the end of May, and this is the weather that we are blessed with. Someone riddle me that, huh? Because I don't understand. But anyway, I'm gonna head to Tommy's. I'm gonna go um, the city way, not city way. <laughs> City way, that's not what I mean. Town way, so I'll probably, it's gonna take me like an hour. I said to him that I was gonna be there um, at half four and it's currently 18 minutes past six. So that's some crap time management there, but it's fine, we're just gonna embrace it. Yes, this is the one, 57 minutes, crikey. Crikey, crikey. Okay, let's get the show on the road. I've also I've got a biscuit, you know the event that we went to? the afternoon tea, they gave us a little biscuit. So I'm gonna enjoy that on my journey. Wow, lovely. It is from the Honeywell Biscuit Company, which is actually a really nice biscuit, so I'm excited for that. So it's a little bit late now, I'm joined with Tommy. Say hello. Hello. Isn't this weird, we can finally have a sleep? Hello. <gasps> this is so strange. I'm currently in one of his hoodies. You know what, I do not have the kind of boyfriend that has like really nice hoodies that I want to steal. I don't want to steal this, I don't like it. Um, Good, because I don't want it. Yeah, but then we're going to be living together soon, so then we can invest in some good hoodies, which would be nice. Um, but yeah, I'll end the vlog now. I didn't really film much, we just had some fish and chips. Just chatted to mum and dad for a bit, didn't we? Did. It's a shame I'm not filming tomorrow, because we're obviously going around looking at homeware, but... I just think filming with a mask on trying to talk in the shops is going to be a bit crazy so probably best if we don't do that but yeah very exciting stuff guys thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it i feel absolutely exhausted but i hope that this week was somewhat entertaining because there was a bit more to do so thank you again and i'll see you in the next one bye